Website Backpage.com helped cops bust eight Spokane spas that were suspected of running prostitution rings out of their businesses. Well, the owners of six of those spas were are free. Yesterday, they were released from jail on their own recognizance. Now, police believe the girls involved in the spas were of age, but many groups say that Backpage.com promotes child prostitution. KXY 4's Kylie Cruz tells us how one organization is launching an ad campaign against that popular website. Good evening, Mike and Nadine on Backpage.com. You can find just about anything from household goods to apartment listings, but there's also another section on this site, an adult section where hundreds of ads are placed each day for services like massages and back rubs. Child welfare groups say that many underagers are placed on this site by their pimps. And that's why an organization called Fair Girls from D.C. hopes their campaign sheds light on the exploitation of young girls. He threatened me. He made me take drugs. He raped me a bunch of times. It's the story of a 13-year-old girl sold for sex. My pimp advertised me online at Backpage.com. That's how these guys would buy me. This story isn't the only one. We have our pimps place the ads for us. We weren't allowed to even see the ads or our own pictures. Asia Graves was once sold on Backpage.com by her former pimp. Years later, she's fighting back against the site. The same site police say was used to pimp out girls working in the Spokane massage parlors. You go online to Backpage.com and buy a toaster, a blender, and a sofa, and also buy a 13-year-old girl. Graves now works for Fair Girls, an organization that aims to end the trafficking of young girls. And that our victims that people see online when they're purchasing sex are not grown consenting women. They're young children who are constantly sold. By launching this campaign, Graves hopes to shed light on the activities that take place here. Hoping that Backpage realizes their errors just like Craig Newmark did and decides to shut down their adult section. Even if people use the popular site to buy a toaster, Graves hopes they navigate somewhere else. Don't advertise even if you're going to rent an apartment. Use other sites because they're making all of this money on the backs of small children being sold for sex. Graves has been out of her old lifestyle for seven years. Now she's determined to help others who are pimped out for cash and have no way out. There were several times where I had to go to the hospital because of what a, what a guy had did to me. And it's a traumatic experience that I would never want another woman or a young girl to ever go through. The Washington State Attorney General has been trying to shut down these websites. Backpage.com sued the state trying to keep up the ads. Today, county prosecutors from across the state voiced their support of the AG's office, saying that they're seeing the victims firsthand and that a law preventing human trafficking and ads that could be offering sex with minors needs to be enforced. Live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Kylie Cruz, KXLY4 HD News.